Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to show you how to make keto dosa. Um, so dosa is a very popular dish all over India and um, so today we'll learn how to make that the keto style, not usually made with rice and uh, lentils fermented and uh, made like crepes. So this is different. Um, this is going. This is I kind of experimented with a couple types of recipes and came up with it. It came out excellent. So let me go ahead and show this to you. And then I'm going to show masala dosa, which means it has something filling in the center. Usually it's potatoes and peas, uh, mashed or boiled mashed potatoes, uh, not mashed exactly, crushed potatoes, um, tempered and cooked uh, with some spices and onions. Uh, that's the center they use, but I'm going to do, and then they have a lot of other fillings also, paneer, um, and so many different ways and also the famous madras uh, mutte dosa which is egg dosa okay so that's a very good street food dosa is actually a street food a very good comfort food so I'm going to make it um, I'm showing you all the different ingredients I'm going to use in that including the various types of fillings so the first one and it's going to be four different types one is plain dosa then I would add um, follow it by mutte dosa which is egg dosa i love it staying uh, saying the original way uh, mutte in tamil is uh, egg and it's famous that way uh, as a street food and then um, paneer for the vegetarian version paneer dosa uh, with paneer filling inside and for the meat lovers it's uh, chicken mince these are chicken meatballs and i'll go over the dishes slowly so uh, sorry the ingredients so let's start with plain dosa um, first let me show you what all goes into the uh, plain dosa uh, I have here coconut milk um, I use organic coconut milk you can use any coconut milk I would take one cup of this okay in goes that and then half a cup of mozzarella cheese so here half a cup of mozzarella cheese I have a little bit left I don't want to um, keep this away so a little bit over that and keep full so you know this is not um, this is not just actual measure a heap full which is good then I'm taking about half a green chili here and a salt to taste so about little less than half teaspoon salt and this is according to one's taste so use it according to one's taste I'm just using a level of um, half a teaspoon of salt and uh, this is pink Himalayan salt that I'm using okay and yogurt so I tried with sour cream also not bad but yogurt I'm using so it gives me a good uh, what do you call uh, fermentation type of uh, fermentation kind of texture so here's a big tablespoon one and just about a tablespoon two tablespoons okay um, I'll take a little of the water also okay. so the idea is to grind them all together and then mix it with half a cup of almond flour okay you can add half a cup of almond flour and just about one tablespoon of coconut flour also but i'm just doing the almond flour version today so it works both ways so i'm doing one whole cup uh, half a cup of almond flour i'll mix that later on and again i'll show you the consistency how that should be so we first grind all of this together a little bit of cumin i forgot cumin so very little about a couple pinches of cumin you don't want too much of cumin paste in there and uh, we get this grinding okay this is how the liquid looks so um, it is a little bit runny and you want it somewhat thicker so add the almond flour in it I'm adding a 
again one heap full of half a cup that should be good so it goes here and then mix it well okay so you don't want any lumps in it mix it well you can also grind it if you wish to um, but this is how you should mix it so I like it to be grainy a little bit but if you can handle the lumps uh, just give it a uh, just run it in the grinder for like a, a few seconds and they should be well mixed okay okay guys so this is how it looks uh, when it's thick mixed with almond flour um, I, I wanted to try fermenting it so what I did is I left it in this tight container and a mixy jar and then uh, left it overnight outside at room temperature and then later put it in the fridge so that when I make it, it gives me a little bit of fermented texture because I have uh, yogurt in it um, you can make it fresh as is um, as soon as you mix this also I tried different ways I like that better but so for the chutney this is uh, grated coconut fresh grated coconut about four ounces that I have here and uh, I'm going to use a few fresh green chili uh, sorry um, curry leaves for tempering one whole green chili and you can, chilies according to your taste you can take half of it or one whole I think I want to take um, at least a whole of it or maybe three-fourths so uh, this is uh, cumin seeds and then mustard seeds I'm going to use a little bit half a teaspoon of each while tempering it now that goes for chutney and a uh, tamarind a uh, half a teaspoon of tamarind and salt according to taste so half a teaspoon of this organic tamarind now that's the um, chutney bar and uh, again you put everything in grind it and then you go for the tempering so we'll do that this one is for the paneer filling I have about six ounces of paneer uh, four ounces of cherry tomatoes diced and um, some, uh, very finely chopped half an inch of ginger one ounce of finely chopped uh, bell peppers um, about two ounces of scallions cut and two green chilies whole again chilies are up to your uh, taste if you want to add just one you can uh, and then add a little bit of um, red paprika powder as well so this is for the paneer filling and this is for the uh, chicken mince again two ounces of scallions here chopped half an inch of ginger finely chopped and uh, uh, four ounces of the cherry tomatoes chopped and these are pre-made um, chicken mince uh, meatballs you can use any mince in it you can use fresh chicken mince I already do these and freeze them so um, like half bake them and freeze them so that when I need them I can uh, quickly take it so these are those if not if you have fresh mince you can use that fresh mince but you need to cook it a little more time till the mince is done so uh, for me to make it easy I just do pre-do it prep it and then keep it in the freezer so these are my inner fillings ingredients so let's get to making the first part of it chutney we'll make the fillings first all the three fillings first and then we'll go to making the crepes uh, the dosas okay so the chilies are done I'm gonna Put it in this and I'm going to use the same oil for temp and add some salt a little bit of salt about half a cup of water and I think I'm ready to grind this so the chutney so the chutney is ready here and uh, I need to do tempering so uh, let's go there and see how do we do the tempering. Okay, so now I'm adding two tablespoons of butter. The wok is already hot and we'll go 
cooking all of this for the paneer means okay so just watch me how I'm doing mustard seeds and then when it starts buttering add the capsicum ginger bell pepper and ginger add some cumin seeds also half a teaspoon of salt and saute it. Okay, after like three minutes of sauteing on medium high flame, it is almost done. So the paneer and everything looks mixed well and cooked well so I am ready to take it off the uh, pan okay so well, this is a good serving now next is the mince so for the mince again I've used one tablespoon of butter and we'll follow up with the ginger and scallions in it medium flame and I chop this chili in it. So you don't want to cook it too much. Now it's a little bit uh, translucent and at this point I want to add tomatoes as well. So I don't want to make it like a puree. It has to cook a little bit so the rawness goes but at the same time you have a, a crunch, you have the theme also of those vegetables in there. So saute this also for about two minutes and then we'll add the mince to it. Okay guys, so this is the paneer filling and it is a good amount, about 4 to 5 servings. Uh, dosas you can make, so I'll, I make usually prep it and put it in the fridge to use for 2-3 days. And this is the same quantity of mince filling, okay. So here you have both, you can use it for 10 dosas at least, both of them. So that's just ready. And my, this is my dosa pan getting heated up. So it's almost hot now. I will use one scoop of this, one and a half. empty spaces here let me fill it up so let's go it's on medium high let it be there for some time change sides a little bit shift it so that it gets cooked evenly on all sides and it's not burning in the center so about two minutes or so you will know when the color is changing and looks almost settled down the tricky part of it and please take a good non-stick pan you don't want something which is not very good because it will stick to it okay
the edges and this one I'm doing a little different I want to flip it and uh, flip it and cook the other side as well Okay, now when it is in medium flame, almost done, break in a couple eggs. And spread it a little bit. Okay. So we want to add some red paprika powder. Some coriander powder, a dash of cumin, and a bit of salt. Just a pinch of it for the egg. Okay. Let it cook on the sides as well. And this is the this is the plain dosa. Okay. So I've tasted all the flavors and it's fantastic, all of them. I like the mince best, plain dosa second with the chutney, it's amazing. Uh, I think everything is fine, paneer has its own unique taste and the mutte dosa as well, it has its own unique taste and uh, these are the various options you can. Um, I found these best options, so hey, our weekend's going great. I hope you like the recipe, try it and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Have a great rest of the weekend. Hey guys, you know what? When I was doing the editing, I noticed that I didn't record the whole ta-da thing in my taste fest. I think uh, that was a boo-boo. But anyway, I'll be careful next time. But you saw the ending. Uh, so here I want to give a very important tip that if your batter looks a little thicker after it settles down add a little more coconut milk or water and make it in the consistency that I showed you. Alright this was an important tip hope you don't miss it and as I said um, I enjoyed it and hope you do so too. Okay take care bye bye.